Just about any kind of security device you can think of was on Jones County Junior College's campus today in preparation for New Gingrich. In a 7 on your side exclusive, we sat down one on one with a presidential hopeful for an inside look at Gingrich's political platforms. His welcome to Jones County Junior College was warm <laughs> and met with a whole lot of enthusiasm. Former House Speaker and presidential candidate Newt Gingrich took the JCJC stage with his wife Callista to rouse the crowd about Tuesday's Mississippi primary. We came here today to ask you to help America. We really believe that America as an idea, American idealism, American optimism, American entrepreneurship. One on one, Gingrich's message was the same, but his clear aim is lower gas prices. In spite of the Senate voting down the Keystone Pipeline, he's optimistic that if elected voters will get more for the gallon without less from the buck. Truly surprised at the number of Democrats who basically voted to impose higher gas prices uh, on, their, on their own voters. And that's why I'm so deeply opposed to what President Obama is doing. Gingrich doesn't underestimate the power of the South either. He says the Magnolia State is a well-old machine, one that his competition can't comprehend. Very important as a fellow Southerner from Georgia uh, that we have somebody who understands the South. And I, I noticed that Governor Romney said that he tried grits for the first time yesterday. I think that's probably not a very good introduction to, you know, I think he understands the rest of the South about as well as he understands grits. His trip was short, but at the end of the day, folks are just glad he stopped by to partake in a piece of Southern charm. Thanks for coming to Ellisville. And thanks for having us here. Gingrich's visit was all made possible by the Jones County chapter of Republican women who had just 48 hours notice to prepare for Gingrich's arrival. He isn't the only candidate to stop by the Pine Belt. Rick Santorum is scheduled for a campaign stop in Hattiesburg Sunday. No word yet though on the location.